Toyota just teased a new image of what the 2025 Forerunner is going to be like. Yes, the Forerunner, one they haven't updated in like, I don't know, 20 years. This thing is finally getting an update this year. And here we have some details with a photo, kind of what we expect. And we'll talk about that in this video. Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SV Talk. And let's go ahead and go to where I was from. It's from the Instagram account. It takes a little bit to find this, actually. So if you go to Instagram and you go to Toyota USA, three syllables, Tim, Toyota. We look at this first image left hand side that's the forerunner as you pull this image up you can look at the lineages of the forerunner history the heritage of it right so we have forerunner and we have newer forerunners and updates and then we have the one they've had for a while and then boom there is the image you can see the rear door you can see the, the tow hook or the receiver hitch there you can see forerunner spelled out and that's what we have so if you remember toyota did this quite a bit with the tacoma and with a the Tundra. There'll be other uh, teaser images going out there. I'll have more information on pickuptrucktalk.com of the other teaser images as they come out. So make sure you check over there. So here's we got the we got the rear image. We can see they did the very similar to what the Forerunner has been. Um, and so what's going on? So we wrote a story back in January. It was confirmed to come out this year. And my assumption, based on my travel schedule, is that in a couple of weeks I'll see the Forerunner in person. So this was uh, the rumor that was from autonews.com. It says supposed to come out sometime this year, slated for redesign to be revealed this year, should be out later in the fall um, of 2020, what are we, four now? So what do we expect? We expect the V6 to be dead. That's been consistent throughout all of Toyota's lineup with Lexus and Toyota and everything. They've kind of killed the V6, they've gone turbocharged. So can you expect the four cylinder turbocharged engines like the ones in, mm. I don't know, let's say the Tacoma. <laughs> it seems like it's so, very, very likely. We're looking at 278 horsepower, 317 foot pounds of torque. Expect similar numbers in the Forerunner. Expect basically the similar setup. Um, I do expect the hybrid version of the Forerunner as well. And so it, it, it's basically Tacoma powertrain and the Forerunner makes the most amount of sense. And then looking over this, we can see where the, um, I'm going to pause it for a second. Uh, it's going to be, what am I going to say? There's no going to be no drastic design change. I think you're going to say, they're going to see like it's going to take the Tundra Tacoma design cues and basically mold the vehicle out of it, right? So I think it's going to be very Tacoma, very Tacoma looking inside. You'll have the big tech upgrades, the big screens, probably the removable JBL speaker, the things that uh, Toyota has done in the, you know, and then the hybrid version of 4Runner. I expect bigger power supply in the rear. I mean, that would make a lot of sense. And so let's go over to toyota.com. And I want to look at some vehicles here. I want to look at the Tacoma because I think it's just going to be a pretty spot image of the Tacoma. So this is the new 2024 Tacoma, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I expect there to be a Trail Hunter version of the 4Runner. I expect to be a TRD Pro version of Trail Hunt of the 4Runner. I expect the same uh, grade walk as far as trim levels. Right, so SR5, SR, Limited. Um, I'm gonna look at the exterior here. If you see like this white one here, I can really see this being the forerunner front end. Maybe a little slightly tweaked differences like the Sequoia versus the Tundra differences. Some of the body color moldings, they did a little bit different on the Sequoia versus Tundra. I can see the same cabin and just take this bed and put a top on it. That's what, I, that's what I'm envisioning. I'm envisioning the same powertrains. I understand it's not gonna be like, oh my God, it's so different and unique and all this kind of stuff. The Forerunner has just been a very solid uh, vehicle for Toyota for years, and I don't see them really messing with the formula. I see them keeping everything kind of the way it just increasing, just small steps, small increases, right? Power on the board. And then I want to look at like, the ex interior if I get a chance. Oh, I'm on exterior views only. I was like, why can't I see interior views? So uh, interior, yeah, I could see this pretty much spot on. Um, again, maybe a small tweak here and there. They move something around left to right, just kind of give a little bit more flavor to it. But I could see the Forerunner being very similar to what this interior looks like. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I I think that it's interesting, you know, it's it, I've driven a new Tacoma and I've, I've had people have bought Tacomas who've been on this channel. They've been sharing their details with me. We've seen TFL do a bunch of uh, things with the Tacoma they have. TRD John has a really cool build Tacoma he's got going on, really cool, if you wanna check that out. Um, and so, you know, we're seeing a lot of positive feedback from people I push back for one reason no positive feedback from people and the, what they're saying is the power delivery is there it's smooth it's powerful yeah it's a four banger get over it 
The four banger puts out smoother powertrain than the B6 did. And it's going to be a little bit more efficient as far as fuel economy than the older B6 as well. So it's not a dog anymore. It doesn't, uh, especially in the poor runner's case, not going to be hunting for gears as much. You're going to have a much smoother delivery um, as far as power output, much better shifting, probably a little bit better towing experience as well. Um, I think we'll see the interior be really kind of nice. I've, I've been in Tacoma quite a bit. I like the interior. I don't like the lower trim level interiors, a little bit smaller screen and stuff. I like the one I just showed you, the higher trim levels. I think that one really pulled off really well. I do like that interior better than Tundra interior, personally. I just think it lays out better. Um, and the seats are really comfortable. I can see we're having lots of good legroom in the second row and the first row. I would be curious to see if they move around that cabin a little bit because it is a forerunner. You tend to move those seats back a little bit in the second row versus Tacoma where you have more bed space. And so you kind of play with that. So Tacoma has a little more bed space, a little bit less room in the leg room in the rear seats, a little bit better leg room in the front seats to keep that size. The size is very, 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 very important. I've said it many times during videos. It's got to fit in the garage. That's huge in that space. So I could see the forerunner being the same size, but the rear be a little bit smaller than the bed and have more leg room in the second row of seats. Um, I still anticipate the rear window rolling down because that was a cool feature. The Tundra kept it and I could see the forerunner keeping that as well. Um, that was kind of an iconic thing for them. Uh, again, I can see Trail Hunter. I can see TRD Pro version of this. You see limited. You can see all the different trim levels. Maybe not as many options and, and things as the Tacoma has, but a good variety of things for that forerunner. And fun fact, um, I went to um, Japan a couple years ago and I did a video or I did a video best I could back then of a tour of the factory in, um, what's the name of that town? Anyways, it's in Japan. I'll link to this at the end of the video, wherever I put the link to the, um, to the back. You can see how things are getting built. And part of the reason I went there was there was a strong rumor from inside Toyota USA that Japan was looking at killing the Forerunner. They didn't understand it. They didn't have a market for it. They just thought it was weird. They're just going to kill it and move on and do something else. And so part of the reason I was there was help, you know, help the Toyota USA guys say, hey, See, people are interested. He did a tour of it. He flew all the way over there to check out, check it out. So I'll put a link to that video. Um, again, it's not my greatest videography, but it's the best I got. Um, that was, again, several years ago when I was starting the channel. But so I, I still anticipate it being built. Uh, I, I would imagine it'd probably be built in Mexico along the plant lines of Tacoma, but it may still be built in Japan as well. Be up in the air. I'll be curious what they're going to do with that. Um, they have, the, again, the new plant in Mexico building Tacoma. Seems like the capacity there to add another line, but they may also keep it in Japan too. So those are the details I have for you right now on the image of the Toyota 4Runner. I probably was going to do like a three-minute video. It turned out to be seven and a half. Sorry about that. But I hope you enjoyed all the details in this video. Also, check out pickuptrucktalk.com. And again, we'll be sharing more and more images. I expect at least a couple, two or three more teaser images before the unveiling happens. And I'm going to say I'm thinking it's pretty soon. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, I will see you down the road.